Hey everyone, I'm Dane Sanders and I want to welcome you to Better Together. Uh, we are finishing off summer and beginning the fall now and there's so much that's gone on in 2012 with Better Together. It seemed like in the same way that the academic year, if you have kids and you're in North America, you can relate to this. There's so much transition that goes on between uh, the summertime where we have kind of an off calendar schedule and the calendar year, at least with us, with kids. And it just feels like almost like a new year, like a fresh start going into the fall. And if that's you, or if you stumbled into uh, Better Together for the first time now, or you don't know really what's going on, this video is for you. And I, I, my hope is to do this kind of video maybe twice a year, once in the new year, and then once at the beginning of this kind of fall push, so that people, again, if you're in, if you're in Australia or somewhere else, uh, beginning of, of the spring push, I guess, uh, but the point of this is to get people oriented to what the heck is Better Together and, and what is our story and how do we get here. Now, I won't be long-winded about this. If you heard me do these kinds of videos in the past, um, don't worry, I'll be quick. But I did want to make sure that you heard from my mouth what exactly we've been doing and are doing and where we're going. Better Together started when I was traveling and did a bunch of, I call them roadshow workshops, uh, in conjunction with a couple books that I wrote. I wrote the book Fast Track Photographer and the Fast Track Photographer Business Plan. And we created some cool assessments like the photographer DNA and the business stress test. We created these cool resources. And as I traveled around and, and delivered this, these workshops, um, every time we landed, we created a mini community out of those workshops. And when I, I left, there were some leaders that were naturally and organically stepping up to the plate. And they decided that they really wanted to, to lead a community. And, and they did. And they launched these cities. Now, some have flourished and been around for several years now. Others waned and, and new groups sprouted where we didn't do roadshow workshops. But long story short, these groups took on new iterations and new forms and eventually where they've landed today is we have these things called Better Together. And Better Together simply means we believe that we're better together than we are in isolation. That's it, pretty simple. The groups are primarily driven by implementation. Our goal isn't to um, give you the latest fad content or to uh, just have you hear stuff, be a spectator or a consumer. Uh, in fact, the goal of, of Better Together is to leverage everyone in the room, where everyone is expected to bring something to the table and contribute. And that includes you, even if this is your very first meeting. Even if it's someone who, if you're someone who doesn't feel super confident about what you're bringing to the table, like you don't feel super strong in, a, in an area within your business or with your, your the craft, or if you feel super strong and you're like, where do I, where do I contribute? I don't feel like I have a fit. Talk to your leader because the point is that whether you're bringing um, uh, a presentation on pricing or you're bringing cookies and, and milk, uh, regardless, it's a, it's a thing where we as a community are bringing whatever we have in our hand and, and making a contribution to make our community better. Now, the reason we focus so much on implementation of Better Together and the reason we focus so much on doing this in person is because virtual communities have become very cheap. It's very easy to create a virtual community now and it's very easy to be anonymous in those communities. And ultimately, they don't seem very constructive. Spend any time on a Facebook uh, page for very long or someone's blog, and you'll see pretty quickly how harsh people can be, um, as well as how empty they can be with their comments. But what's unique about meeting people face to face is that when you do, people tend to talk differently. They tend to be with each other uniquely. And you guys have an opportunity at tonight's meeting even to be more transparent, to take greater risks and to be more yourself with whoever you are, with everything you got, liabilities, strengths, weaknesses, assets, whatever it is, bring that to the table and I promise when you put it on the altar, the group will become better as a result. Now, there's a bet in there, there's a gamble that you're gonna be doing this in the context of competitors and gosh, is it okay to do that? And what I wanna to suggest to you that here at Better Together, we don't think really highly about content because content is so accessible. You can get it anywhere, content's content. And by the way, we even have Facebook groups and that sort of thing, but all those groups point to coming together and making a contribution as a group. So the reason we do this is because we believe that because content is cheap nowadays, you can get it almost anywhere, it turns out it's not the content that's valuable, it's the application of that content. And when you apply content uh, around your business or around creativity through the, your unique lens of who you are that nobody else can replicate, and you're doing it in collaboration with colleagues, I tell you what, what's gonna happen is, and has been happening for years now, is these groups are slowly but surely emerging 
and leaders are emerging. People are taking responsibility for their own lives and their own businesses and, and even their own communities. You might even be asked as you get more and more involved by your leaders to play increased roles. Maybe maybe you being a leader down the road makes more sense. Maybe you travel a real significant distance tonight to be at the meeting and you're like, I don't want to travel that far next time. Well, no problem. We have tools available for you to start a group in your own area. But the point of all this is, is really simple. In this day and age, in this digital era, this digiflat era, it's never been more critical to have a support team. As an independent entrepreneur who's trying to make everything happen, it's, there's just too much to negotiate. There's too much to consider what's on the table. But it's different when you have a team, when you have people who are watching out for you. When you, when you if you miss a meeting and people notice, uh, that's pretty exciting, especially because you don't work for a corporation necessarily that that is kicking roll call. Um, sometimes I think it's tempting as a photographer or as a professional creative to, feel, to wonder, like, does anybody notice me? Am I invisible? And this is one place where you are entirely visible and the invitation is for you to become more visible in a constructive, supportive environment where you will get stuff done. Now, this isn't just a kumbaya place. This is definitely a space where we want to be constructive and move forward and make friends and and have these people be the kinds of people that you that are go to in a pinch that are your, that your are your insurance policy. So the rest of tonight, with that as a backdrop as to what got us here, the rest of tonight really is an invitation at, for you to consider what do you want to participate with at what level do you want to be a spectator or a consumer? Because if that's the case, this group probably isn't for you. Uh, there's a lot of great community groups that you can be a part of where you can just spectate. But in these groups, that's not what we do. You'll find that it's not very much fun to be a spectator here because people are going to constantly be asking you to participate at a higher level. So if you don't want those requests, this is probably not the place. But if you do, and you're looking to not only make requests, but actually help people with their requests, what you're going to discover is a, a brand new day. Now, let's talk just one more second about this brand new day because we are moving forward from here as we've been building this community up until now, several years now, some groups have been meeting steadily for over three years. Um, as we look ahead, every spring, every, every, actually every January, we have our leaders from all around the world fly into Newport Beach, California, and we do a leadership conference. And it's not a photo conference, it's a leadership conference of people who are leading local communities. We also have regional leaders. So there's local leaders who are with you tonight, but then we have regional leaders who are, who've been around for a while who are supporting all these local startups, these communities. We also have some cool tools that are in place, like Fisheye Connect and these videos and, and a whole bunch more that will be coming in the pipe. But the point of all this is to say is the future of where Better Together is going is very bright, very optimistic, very hopeful, and even more excitingly, it's going to be formed by people like you. You and your personality and who you are and what you bring to the table really is going to define what the future could look like. So that's tonight's conversational starter. This is the exercise. And these videos, really, they're meant to just start conversations. And the hope is that tonight's conversation would really be around that. Your, your leader will facilitate it. But it's around what could our group look like? What do we want this world to be around, about as a photo community? Where can we find the most resource to get the best return on our efforts for our local business and, and beyond? And even in your life as a whole. And I think as you share your story and you take a risk and you're a little bit more vulnerable and, and people engage with you and you engage back, I think what you're going to be most excited about when this is all done is that you want to come back, that you'll want to be here next month and contribute at another level. And, and as you do, um, I'd love to hear about it. So um, that's it for now. I'm going to stop now and, and pass the baton on to your incredible leaders who, by the way, you should be thanking every time they host a meeting. They're, they're amazing that they do this. Everyone's volunteering. I'm volunteering. They're volunteering. There's no dues. We're not selling a bunch of stuff. The point here is simply community that helps each other implement and get stuff done together. And when we do that kind of thing side by side, shoulder to shoulder, you know what happens? We have a great time doing it. So uh, if that's what you're looking for, I'm really glad you're here. Super stoked. And I hope you have a fantastic um, month of September. And beyond this month, uh, please be in communication with your local leader and me too at Dane Sanders or at Fast Track Photo or however you want to communicate, Google Plus or Facebook. Um, I'd love to find out your vision for how Better Together ought to be moving forward. Thanks. Take care. We'll see you next time.